You may have seen Sour Mix in a lot of different videos, but you don't have a clue as to what it is. Well, stay tuned, I'll explain it to you. Hey, I'm Eric. I am the idiot at an idiot and his liquor. Today I am making my own homemade sour mix and I'm going to explain a little bit about what sour mix is exactly. Uh, there's two types of sour mix basically. There is a homemade using like, lemons, limes, and simple syrup uh, or there is the bottled variety which I have right here. Uh, the bottled variety is very different. It is uh, it claims on the label that it is real fruit but actually it uh, it only contains 8% juice this brand in particular according to the label it's basically uh, concentrate and what you'll find if you compare the two is that this in the bottle is very heavy in sugar uh, as opposed to what you get if you make from home it has a much more citrus uh, strong flavor so just want to explain that when you use sour mix in recipes, it would be, you know, the same amounts of either one. I'm not going to be one of those guys that tells you not to use the bottled because I'm not really a drink Nazi when it comes to that. But the drinks that I make here uh, are personally using the homemade. So I do have a bottle of this that I bought before I started making it myself. And I didn't mind it until I started making it myself, and then I decided that from then on, I was only using the homemade. So I'm going to get rid of that, get it out of picture, and I'm going to show you how to make some fresh, from scratch, sour mix. Alright, when you're making the homemade sour mix, you just need lemons, limes, and in this bottle is simple syrup. Uh, simple syrup is basically just a mixture of water and sugar a one to one ratio so if you use one cup of sugar you use one cup of water heat the water up until the sugar is fully dissolved just stir it up make sure you dissolve the sugar well that's simple syrup you can also buy it pre-made and the pre-made lasts longer on the shelf but it's a lot more expensive as well but once again that decision will be entirely up to you so the ratio that I use for simple syrup I actually got from a website which I'll post the link to down in the description and it is a two part, two part, one part recipe. It is two parts of lemon juice, two parts of simple syrup and one part of lime juice. So I usually don't make very big batches, the stuff only lasts for a couple weeks and the fresher the better when you're dealing with fresh citrus. So, first thing I usually do is I'll start by rolling out the limes. And you can do that with the lemons as well, just roll them out. And what that does is it loosens up some of the juices in there, gets them flowing. You should be able to get a little more juice out of them. I might add that nothing, nothing smells so good like that citrus smell, the lemons, I mean even taking them out of the bag I'm just thinking wow these things smell amazing and so you know you give it a nice roll each one and if they're really tough they're really not rolling around very good for you to loosen up I understand you can throw them in the microwave and it'll loosen them juices up a little bit just throw them in for a few seconds never personally tried it but you can go for it if you'd like so I'm going to start off by just slicing my lime and that knife is really dull. So usually it ends up being one lime, two lemons is generally how the yield works out. But uh, we're just going to try and see how much I get out of each. So basically right there, I've gotten, can't get my lime out of there. So basically right there so far I've gotten a total of about one ounce. And I'll just pour that in there. One ounce of lime juice is perfect for this. I need that lime anyways for the next drink I'm going to make. 
So I'm just going to move on to my lemons. And that cut way easier for some reason. The knife just sharpened its own on its own. So the lemon should yield roughly the same amount out of each. Getting lemon rind everywhere on that one. I don't really want that in my mix. And not surprisingly, I'm making a big mess, but yeah, it's pretty common for me to make a big mess when it comes to these. All right. Now, that was about one and a quarter of lemon juice. Not quite two ounces like I would want, but it's still close enough at this point to keep going. And I'm just going to measure out two ounces worth of simple syrup. Put that in my bottle as well. And if you're good at math, you'll realize that that equals about five ounces that this batch made. That was out of one lime, or one lemon, half a lime, and some simple syrup. Let's give that a quick shake. That's it. That is uh, how you make homemade sour mix. And it's really beneficial to try it out. I would seriously try it. Actually, for comparison's sakes, I am going to take just a little bit of my homemade, pour it into a shot glass here, spilling it everywhere. Cap's not on tight. Usually that five ounce will get you about two drinks worth. Uh, I mean that's good because like I said you want to try and keep as much as fresh as you can basically so I mean if you're having a party or something you might want to buy maybe 10, 10 lemons five limes or something and make a big batch of it uh, other than that you know just if you're making single drinks like I do that works perfect for me so if you're looking close in there you can see the comparison between the two. Uh, to my left, this is my left, is the homemade sour mix, and this is the bottled. And as you can see, the, the bottle is way yellower. It's much more yellow in color, uh, and that's from the, the coloring they put in it. Uh, it's not bad. I'm not going to say it's terrible, but it's definitely much more sugary than uh, what you get when you make it at home. And you don't realize just how much more sugar is in that until you drink it from scratch. It's amazing. I just, I'm so glad I found that recipe. And honestly, I think if you try it yourself at home, you're going to find it is that much better and hopefully you'll start making it from scratch yourself. But either way, whether you do it from scratch, or from the bottle, your decision, I just thought I'd make this drink, uh, this recipe video, that way if you're not sure, you can make the call on your own. But I want to thank you for watching. Uh, check out the list. I have a playlist of just drinks that contain sour mix. So if you're looking for some drinks that you can use that in, then uh, check that out. The card will pop up on top for you. Thanks for watching, and have some fun making some drinks.